What is up guys, Neil here, back with a classic uh, game review, and in this case it's going to be one of my favorite games for the Sega Genesis game console, namely Streets of Rage. So, the game is available for Android and iOS, but I'll be reviewing the Android version, because obviously I use Android. Um, but I came across it while I was in the Google Play Store, and I wanted to see if it was as good as I remember it. Um, I remember, or most of my memory, I think, want to say is from Streets of Rage 2, but I think I probably played the first one just as much. Um, so when you jump into the game, you'll see that they do, um, have location settings for their advertisements. Um, the game is available for free on both platforms. On the Android side, if you do, um, pay the 99 cents, you can get rid of all the ads, as you see here. Um, jumping into the settings, you can tie in um, the game to Google Play settings or Google Play games so you can get, uh, keep track of it just, um, achievements. You can turn the music on and on. You can filter how the game looks by scan lines, classic look, or smooth. Um, you can adjust the controls and you can see um, how the controls look as well. Um, and then if you want to get more information or other stuff like that, you can get that as well. Um, you can also get high scores if you want, so as you go higher and higher in the ranks, um, there is that. Um, so that's really the bulk of um, the game from here. So jumping into the game, it does offer two, one player or two players, just like the console. I'm not sure how the two player, or I guess you, um, you would, ha would have um, the other person on their device playing the game to play together. So you're going to be in the same area, again, it looks like on the same uh, Wi-Fi network and then you can play together um, you can also save games which you will have to use sign into Google Play games in order to do that on the ad um, on the version with ads so the free version you will need to watch an ad in order to save games and um, load games um, when you play it you will need to just be signed in so yeah you, as you can see I have a couple of games already saved but in this case, I'm just I'm going to start a new game. Um, you will see the controls look similar to the Sega Genesis controller. Um, you will get the introduction for the game. Um, so basically, there's games getting controlled. You have to find Mr. X, I think the main boss is, and go from there. Um, as you can see, um, if you don't push anything, you'll get the preview, much like the original game, or like an arcade style. So um, when you push the start button... Um, you will be taken to the um, main screen where you do get the one player and two player options again. Um, if you um, do that, I guess you'd, uh, I guess rewind time. So um, it will give you the option, but I'm not sure how the second player is going to continue. But um, so in this case, I'm just going to do a one player game. But in the options, you do get a similar. Um, options like the main um, uh, screen so you can do sound settings you get the level settings so if you want to um, do easy hard hardest things like that adjust the controls um, and go from there so we'll start a one player game um, I've already played with or played a little bit with each one of them so in this case I'm going to play as um, Adam you do get their preview animation so what their main um, look and feel is so it depends on who you want to play as um, the game is pretty true to the original, so you do get um, things like the phone booth um, to get weapons and um, um, health upgrades and things like that. So, the, like the there's the apple, I believe it was for a small power upgrade. Uh, you do get the turkey, or what looks like the turkey for the um, um, uh, bigger health upgrade. So, um, just the, they paid a lot of attention to detail as far as um, bringing the game at, back to the platform and keeping it as um, true to the original as possible. And then you do get, um, as you play the game, varying bosses and, or not bosses, but um, various level um, villains that you need to fight. And I guess I don't know why that guy is taking, give me, giving me trouble to get to, but. Um, once you, once you defeat the bosses, you'll get the usual little arrow to tell you that you need to move forward. 
So in this case, we will move forward. You, now you can see the one of the um, slightly bigger villains, I guess, or it looks a little bit bigger, he, mostly because he was in the um, garage. So kind of that surprise element. So um, you do get things, um, additional bad guys that you need to pay attention to. So here's one of the um, phone booths. So I can picked up the Apple. And I got a little bit of a health boost, so I'm gonna. Um, so, um, as you can see, they kept it where um, if I pick up a weapon and it falls, you can pick it up a couple of times. Um, but at some point, it's gonna go away and it's not gonna be something that you can repeatedly use. Um, so, there, um, there is that to consider when you're picking up the weapon. So, and then in this case, I got the, um, there is the pipe that I can use as a weapon and, um, so, um, just something to consider. And then you see, um, this other guy with his, um, weapon. So you can, once you defeat other, um, the defeat the bad guys with their weapons and you you can uh, use their weapons as well to um, attack them so it was a pretty nifty detail that I liked in the original game and I'm glad that they brought that over as well so for the most part that's really the bulk of the game I haven't I've I think the furthest I've gotten so far is the third level um, it does take some getting used to the controls um, as you can see from me playing it as I um, talk, but I do like the game, and I'm gonna actually see if uh, st the second Streets of Rage has been ported over to Android as well. Um, doing a little bit of research into the history of the game, I, I guess there was a third Streets of Rage which I didn't know about, and there was um, some history as well between the first and second games as far as um, Adam being in this one, and then in the second game there was gonna Adam's uh, younger brother, who was the I think he's the guy on the skateboard or on the roller blades, which was which is my memory of the game, which is, um, what I, re what I really remember. I think that was, he was my favorite character in the second game, um, just cause he moved around a lot more and, uh, was more agile. So, um, just something to, um, remember about that, but overall a fun game and something that I, a game that I do like playing and recommend playing, um, again, if you're a fan of the Streets of Rage series or um, you're, you're a fan of Sega games, so there is that. Um, but that's really all there is for this review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can find get the uh, podcast on the website, PatelN01.com, for past episodes, subscription links, um, all of that good stuff. And you can, of course, uh, help support the show by visiting the Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. And, of course, all video reviews can be found on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. Remember to subscribe if you want to get notified as soon as new uh, reviews are up. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.